Welcome everyone to Thursday Night's Warfare. Man, we're starting off with a freaking banner of a theme song in the background. A little Triple H. A little bit of the game. But we got a great episode tonight for you all. Because tonight's main event, six-man tag match. It will be the Gorillas of Destiny with Josh Alexander versus the Iron Taylor, Mr. Amazing, and Marcus King. Also, apparently Evil, after that main event, would like to say a quick thing or something like that. Or maybe Evil is in a match. I don't know. There's something about Evil potentially being in a match later tonight. But that might be the main event instead of the six-man tag match. But a very stacked-up card for tonight's show. We kick things off with Liger versus Blaze. I hope that Liger beats the hell out of him. Road to Knock Highway. About two more episodes after this one until we're at the next one. We're very close to near we're very close to hundred episodes. The hundred will be this Friday. Big shot by Liger. Yep, episode 100. 100 will be uh, on Friday. Because tomorrow's is 99, and Friday's going to be 100. And then Saturday's the big one. Hypnotic Highway 3, the final pay per view of 2020, uh, 2K23. Because uh, after Hypnotic Highway, I'm going to take a big break off of 2K and play some other stuff on this uh, channel here. Stuff like bringing back WrestleQuest, starting something new as well. Apron DDT by Blaze. And uh, of course, like I said last couple episodes, when 24 comes out, don't expect a video right away. Because we're going to have to download people, make people, make an arena, titles, that type of thing. Beat 40 years of Mania mode. So I say wait, because it'll be a little bit before I get 24 up and running. Maybe like a, a max of three days for 24, that's what I think, until uh, the first episode of 24 comes out, three days max, and a minimum of like a day and a half. So it depends on how fast it is for me to complete the 40 years of Mania mode and to make all the people. Move out of the way was Blaze there on Liger. Big slam by Liger. Blaze kicks up. And a, ooh, alley you. Blaze almost landed on his knee. German suplex. And now, going for that sit out. No, he isn't. What is this? Brain buster opportunity. You don't see this very much by Liger. A big brain buster from Juice and Thunder Liger. Blaze kicks out. Whoa! Through the middle rope. Nice shots by Liger to the ribs of Blaze. Blaze is in trouble on the floor. Juice and Thunder Liger. Oh man! Suplex pile driver. Right on the floor. Blaze is hurt. Top rope, Liger. Shoot, here comes that shooting star. Cover by Liger. And Liger beats Blaze. Juice and Thunder Liger defeats Michael Blaze. There you go, that's what we like to see. Mr. Juice and Thunder Liger defeat Michael Blaze here tonight. A great victory for Michael, for um, Juice and Thunder Liger over Michael Blaze. This is a great win for him. Destroyed Michael Blaze too. Blaze hardly got any offense in.
Next up is we're going to some tag team action as the re it's the return of the York brothers, Zach and Jamie, as they'll be taking on the team of, uh, I was going to say wrestling's the worst nightmare, but no, it's the Dotham gang, Chris Bat and Eric Foreman. Before we do that, we got to go apparently to the back with an interview section as Juice and Thunder Liger has something to say. Plus, you also meet the new interview person. <coughs> Hold on here before I die. Ugh. That's some stuck in my nose here. Hold on. Ugh. That's better. Disgusting, but hey, I'll take it. But, uh, here's Juice and Thunder Lighter. He's just going to ask the microphone instead of just asking the new person. So, what does Lighter have to say? Michael Blaze. I don't even know why we had a fight tonight. That was a pathetic excuse for a match there, Michael Blaze. That was terrible. I've destroyed you, wrecked you. But this is uh, a statement that I want to throw out to someone. Kozese Kojima. Or not Kozese Kojima, sorry. Mr. Kojima's got his own stuff going on. Uh, I'm calling out Swerve Strickland. Swerve. I'm calling you out to Hypnotic Highway this weekend. You and me. For that immortal title. I know you uh, are not here tonight, but I hope to hear back from you at least by tomorrow or Friday. Because I want a shot at that immortal title. Oh, and there goes Liger backstage. Yes, we'll hear from the new interview guy later tonight. Start things. Uh, here's the first tag match of the evening. We have a couple of tag matches. We have this one. We have a couple six man tag matches. And uh, hold on here. I'm getting informed by something in my earpiece by Antonio Noki. And uh, Noki, who, yes, is back, by the way, after getting that attack last episode. Uh, Noki just said to me that later tonight, after uh, the, six, the second six man tag match, the, the main event's been changed too. Evil versus uh, Adrian Coleman, apparently. Or, yeah, it's Evil versus Coleman tonight. So it looks like our card got bumped up by match. That's good. I like that. Look at these shots. I believe that that one in the green is Zach and Jamie's in the, in the paint. Man, brutal shots by Zach York. Half Indian death lock by Jamie. Back in the ring is Chris Bat. Runner up to last night's Rumble uh, Battle Royal in MSW, which was won by Christopher Hovis, who is fighting later on tonight. And a missed shoulder block there, there by Chris Bat. Foreman going to drop him with a shin breaker. Shot right in the back of Chris Bat and a pump handle backbreaker by Zach. Look at Jamie firing off shots here. Jamie with gut wrench suplex. Oh. Oh. pop Zach and a springboard miss. His shot. Jamie eats a big exploder, big kick to the head there by Zach. Zach counters Foreman, but he doesn't catch back. Shots the head. Skyrider, no, it's blocked by Chris Bat. Three count. Remember, this does go to 20 count, so it can't be on the outside forever. Foreman, oh, oh, Foreman fell over. Foreman fell over. Look out, everyone. Eric Foreman's drunk. And Foreman's just waiting for someone here. 
Jamie Yorks. He sees Eric. Eric's taunting. I don't know why he is. Jamie, dragon suplex. Swing net breaker by Eric Foreman. Big net breaker by Bat. We had a couple of nice big net breakers today. Ten count to Zach. Zach better get back in the ring before he gets counted out. Elbow to the back of Jamie. Jamie's getting wrecked here by the Dolphin Gang. 12. What is Zach doing? Zach better get back in this ring here. And he does. Zach from behind. Big German suplex. Transitions it with a big short iron clothesline. Zach caught by Eric Foreman. Eric, front wrench suplex. And right now the Gotham game's been looking pretty good in this match. Jamie's back in. Backbreaker by Zach. Zach with a big goal. Oh, kick to the face. Jamie off the ropes, misses the springboard. That's bad. Oh, right to the eyes. Low blow, ref didn't see it. The ref didn't see the low blow by Eric Foreman. She, she was too busy trying to count the, uh, was too busy, she was too busy trying to count Zach and uh, Chris Bat on the floor. Strategic move by Eric, super kick by Foreman. Twist of fate by that for the victory. Kick out by Jamie, kick out by Zach, but Eric Foreman and Chris Bat are very close to picking up the victory here tonight. Zach, oh, here we go, super kick to Jamie. Again, another super kick to Jamie. Kicks by Zach York, push knee miss. Eric Foreman pops him on the corner. Behind, big shot of the back. From behind, knee to the back of the neck of Zach by Eric Foreman, who's been great tonight. Big shots by Eric Foreman. Drops it down. here. Eric Foreman, I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's doing something. And what is this? Jamie twisting Cotter. And a break up, Chris back. DDT by that. Zach's down. This could be an opportunity for Chris Bat. Side, side effect by Chris Bat. Oh, Eric Foreman. There's another super kick by Foreman. Break up by Jamie. Jamie's been beating up a lot though tonight. Shot to Eric Foreman. Nice hurt for Rana. And uh oh, Jamie. Jamie's got a heel hook. Heel hook broken up by Bat. Shot there by Zach. Zach York. Big shot to the corner. Ooh, that was a miss by, by Jamie. What happened to Jamie there? And Chris Bat went for something. He didn't really go anything there. Shots by, ja by Zach. There's a twisting counter by Jamie. Jamie York for victory. No, Eric kicks out. Cover on bat by Zach. And the York brothers win their return. There you go, big win for the York brothers in their return to the ring here. Good to see that the York brothers got a victory tonight. We'll have to wait until 24, though, for them to get a title shot. Okay, these next two matches here are very big.
And the reason why I say that is because the winners of these next two matchups will face each other next episode for an opportunity at Kozese Kojima's international title. It's just going to be very interesting to see that. But uh, before we do that, we just got to do some shout-outs. So I'll do the, the uh, normals first, which is uh, Vampiro712, Shockwave Wrestling, Captain Awesome slash Iron Taylor, Dust Trailer 30, a.k.a. Christopher Hovis, Prince McCall, that franchise guy, and number six with G's. Uh, the random shout-outs. Uh, UFC 298 happening Saturday night. I'll watch the replay of that the following day. Uh, other shout-outs. Uh, water, because it's water. <laughs> and, um, I'm not going to give a Valentine's Day shout-out, because, uh, I'm single, so, haha. <laughs> and, hmm, I we'll want to give the last shout-out, too. Why not? I'll give a shout-out to, uh, all the single people in the world. Because even though today's Valentine's Day, hey, us single people are completely fine about it. We just go on about it like it's a different day. Anyway, the first of these two matches here are Eddie Kingston versus Yoda Suji. So this is uh, each other's first match in a long time here in this company. Good DDT. Off the ropes, duck, oh, nope, over, down, and a pop, ooh, pop kick there by Yoda. Knee drop miss, and here comes Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston and Yoda Suji are both former world champions here. Eddie was champion before we uh, turned the belt into what it is today. Big <laughs> DDT. Nice double, uh, like a little version of an underhook suplex. Go to Suji. Nice counter, Eddie Kingston. Ooh, nice stop by Eddie. Eddie's on a good tear right now. Good shots from Eddie. Kingston. And Eddie's firing off again. I'm liking Eddie so far in this matchup. He's bringing the fight to the to a former world champion. Eddie won the belt. What was it back in? I think it was back in. Set, no, not September. It would have been before that. I think July was when he won the belt. Oh, brain buster. Big brain buster by Eddie. Eddie Kingston. Big brain buster. And he goes to the floor. Nice shot there. That one in the corner. Shot there to Eddie. And what is this? Yoda Suji picks him up. Drops him in the corner. Picks him up again. Drops him in the other corner. And there's that big slam. Yoda Suji, kick out. What is this? Picks him up. Good shot. Yoda Suji, here he comes off the ropes. Big curve stomp. So yeah, Eddie, Eddie actually won the belt back in October of 2023. And he will go on to keep the title until 
November. How about a month long reign for Eddie. He had, he had a pretty good reign, actually. He defended that title a good amount of times. Yoda Suji picks up Eddie again and slams him in the corner. He's going to do it again. Slamming his back right on the corners. Yoda misses the elbow, and that might cost him. Eddie takes the back suplex. Eddie countered by Yoda Suji. I think Suji was trying to set up for a genie blast, but he couldn't do it. Gut buster. And now he's going to set up for the genie blast. Here he goes. Here comes the genie blast. Here he goes. Sets up for it. No! Eddie jumped over. Eddie Kingston jumped over him. Northern Lights bomb. Eddie Kingston. No! Yoda Suji kicks out. Close one for Eddie Kingston. Almost beat Yoda Suji. Eddie Kingston, look out with a big dive. Give Eddie credit, he's fighting great. Oh, and he eats a big kick to the stall. Beats a big kick to the stall, and now back fist by Yoda Suji. Suji with his own version of a spinning back fist to Eddie Kingston. Oh, that looked bad for Eddie. He got drilled with his own big move. Suji throws Eddie in the corner, into the barricade. He dropped the back of the net, right to the back of his head. Eddie, stopped by Yoda. Suji throws him back into the ring here. Eddie grabbed at the back of his neck after he had a knee drop. Yoda Suji, maybe looking to set up for the genie blast, but he can't. Eddie's too far. Bitch! Side effect. Cover. And Eddie gets his shoulder up. Yoda Suji's a little pissed. He's, he's beside himself. He thought he had the match won. Step up knee. Step up knee by Suji. And Yoda Suji's going for it. Time for a genie blast. Got it. Genie blast. Kicked out! Eddie kicked out with Genie Blast and Suji can't believe it. Suji blocked by Eddie. Eddie Kingston counters it. Eddie, here comes a big DDT by Eddie Kingston. Suji trying to back to his feet. Eddie stops him. And he throws him in the corner. Back elbow in the corner from Eddie Kingston. Let's put his feet right on the neck. Look at Eddie Kingston and they double knees. And he's feeling it. Hit by Eddie. Yoda trying to back to his feet. Eddie stomps him in the arm. If I'm Eddie Kingston, maybe try to go for a big move off the top, maybe? You know, it's not your bread and butter. Yoda Suji stunned, but look out for Eddie Kingston. Another big dive from the Mad King. A big shot to the forehead. Eddie hits him in the back of the head. Oh, sleeper. Sleeper by Eddie. Eddie Kingston putting on a sleeper hold. Is Yoda going to tap? I'd be surprised if he does. Yoda Suji's really in a sleeper right now, but Eddie Kingston is not able to keep it on for long, long enough. Back to his feet. Yoda, back in the ring. And he's on the outside. Suji's in the corner. That's a bad opportunity for Yoda. Oh, but he hit him with the forearm. I didn't think that would happen. Shoulder tackle. Eddie kicks up. But he stopped off the ropes. Duck or overhead. Big high knee. Shots. Go to Suji. He's looking to put down Eddie. Oh, vertebraker. Got him. Vertebraker. The vertebraker. 
Shady Blast. Another one. And that's going to definitely do it here. Suji beats Eddie Kingston. He's moving on to next episode. So Suji awaits the winner of our next contest to see who he'll face in the next episode for to try to get an opportunity at Kuzesi Kojima's title. And he'll await the winner of this match next week. And that, I mean, well, not next week, but next episode. Christopher Hovis versus Wavemaker. Wavemaker. And after this, we got our two six man tag matches. And then apparently, our main event of the evening will be Evil versus Adrian Coleman. So here we are. Waymaker and Christopher. Oh, Christopher gonna start things off by putting him on the ropes. Kick to the leg by Christopher. Christopher another shot. Christopher three kicks that leg. A Waymaker. Oh, Christopher stopped right in the hand. A Waymaker. Interesting night so far. We had Liger destroy slash uh, swash uh, Michael Blaze. We had the York brothers return and get a victory. And we just had Yoda Suji and Eddie Kingston. Big knee drops that leg of Waymaker by Christopher. Christopher going to the top rope. Christopher likes going up there. And oh God, frog splash from Christopher. Almost crushing the, the ribs of Waymaker in a kick out. Suicide dive, no, and a miss. Big miss from Christopher. Christopher pushes Wave, Waymaker down. Waymaker, again, Christopher pushes him down. Right to the eyes from Chris for a low blow. Why the ref isn't calling for the bell off that move. Counter from Wavemaker. Wavemaker. In the back of the head. Christopher back to his feet already. High knee missed. Wavemaker, counter by Christopher. Waymaker, look out here. Christopher drops him all right to the apron of the ring. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna definitely hurt your head. Christopher on the uh, rope here. Wait, oh! Oh no, hit that a pounce. But man, Christopher springboard spear trying to hit Waymaker, but he hit the referee. Rest back to his feet. That was a brutal shot that the referee ate on that one. But the ref's okay. That was a brutal shot. And there's a pounce. Cover on Wavemaker. Christopher for a big victory here. Referee slow count. Slow count by the ref. And Waymaker with a kick out, but they, that was thanks to a slow count. Christopher could be maybe seconds away from picking up a big victory here, and he'll face the Otisuji next week, next episode. I keep trying to say next week, but it's not next week. Waymaker, arm drag. It's out of the back of Christopher's neck. Christopher eats a stomp to the head by Waymaker. Wavemaker is taunting, which is a bad decision. You don't want to do that. Paid off, though. Shots the head of Christopher by Wavemaker. And a Russian light sweep. Cover on Christopher. Kick out at one. 
A Christopher back to his feet. Spear, no, and is stopped. I don't know how that happened. Wavemaker, Tomb, Stone. Christopher tried to go for a spear, but I don't know what happened. Did he fall? He must have fell. Cover on Christopher. Can Christopher kick it out? Yes, he can. Christopher kicks out. Wavemaker can't believe it. Why does he keep taunting him? Oh, and a big boot. Wavemaker with a big shot to Christopher. He tries to take out Christopher's arm. Christopher's, Christopher's got to fight back here. He's been close to winning this. I mean, he, he would have had a one if he didn't fall over when he went for that spear. Smart idea by Christopher, roll away. He's on the ropes here, ladies and gentlemen. Christopher, back elbow missed there by Wavemaker. There's a punch to the head. Uh oh, he's caught, he's caught, he's caught by Christopher. Christopher catches Wavemaker with a power bomb. Hit by Christopher, Canadian destroyer. Code breaker. Both men are down off a of code breaker. Christopher slowly getting back to his feet here. Christopher, what is this by Christopher? Wasteland. Oh goodness, German, oh man, German suplex from Christopher. Brutal move. Wavemaker's getting tossed around right now from Christopher. Christopher's saying it's over right here. Okay. Oh, never mind. Another German suplex from Christopher. Wavemaker. Whoa, pounce. Pounce from Christopher. Christopher's going up the top rope. Can he just go up and hit something? Oh, jeez. Wait a second, rope break? I didn't see a rope break there, referee. What are you talking about? Christopher had the match won. Wavemaker keeps Christopher off the top rope, but I think the referee kind of did a little dumb call there. I don't think that was a, I don't think that there was a rope break on that. Spear, oh, move out of the way, Wavemaker. Wavemaker, going for their tombstone. Got him. I didn't see another angle of that rope break, because I don't think that, I, I don't think that Waymaker's foot was under the rope, but Waymaker beats Christopher in controversial fashion. I didn't see Waymaker's foot under that bottom rope, so what was the referee talking about? I don't even think Waymaker's foot was on the ropes. So maybe the referee maybe went into business for himself and screwed Christopher. A terrible call by the official, because I don't think there was a rope break. I gotta see that replay, that rope break. Okay, it's not gonna show me, but I don't think Wavemaker got a rope break off of that. I have to watch the replay, but I don't think Wavemaker got a rope break off that. And if he didn't, then Wavemaker's uh, dis uh, victory would be reversed and given to Christopher due to terrible officiating. So I'm going to have to check that out. Here's the first of two Tornado Six-Man Tag Matches. Krasese Kojima, Gabe Kidd, and Alex Toddlin of the, uh, of the Bullet Club War Dogs going to take on Thouse of Hardcore Torture against Kenny, Crichton, and Sho. I figured I'd put this together because of how many problems these guys have with each other. Right. Oh. So Jim is going after, oh, the referees, they had a shot by Cod with big power driver starts to be blocked by Jose Kojima. Jose Kojima covers. Referee slow counting, even though he was the one that hit him. Kojima bit formed to uh, Corey Crichton. Always 
slam. I've been told if anyone pins Kozeste Kojima in this match, she'll either show or um, either show or Crichton. They'll be added to that match next week for an opportunity at Kozeste Kojima's title. That's if they win this match and if one of them pins Kojima. Knee shot there by Show, but here's Gabe Kidd. Here go Crichton Kojima. Two guys holding two different titles in different spots. You got Kojima holding the uh, international title here and the MHLW title. Well, Kenny's got the MSW title and, and the hybridweight title here. Kenny's got a big match next Thursday as it will be him versus the Blades, the Shockwave Wrestling World title. Germs by show, cover, kick out. Uh, Al's Carlin stopped there. And look at this big gap break. Show the cover, kick out for Gabe Kidd. Wasteland champion. Was beaten last night by Mr. Corey Kite. In a cage, no escape. Hit by show. And now Kojima though going after Joe Kenny. Big sidewalk slam. So, uh, Dragon slash Tiger suplex. Cross body by Al Stockle. Kenny rolls out of the ring. He doesn't like what he sees, but Kojima. You can never keep your eyes off Joseph and Kojima. Kenny's in the ring, he just got knocked the hell out. And Arlen, bench pressing Corey all into the chairs at ringside. It's switch slam by Kenny, the cover by Joe. Joe Kenny to win, Gabe. Gabe's on the bottom rope, what a breakup. Of course the referee calls that one, but calls a rope break that should not have been counted. Kojima, there's the lariat. Kozeski Kojima, the deadly lariat on Joe Kenny in a kick out. That was close. Kozeski Kojima almost won. Code breaker by Crichton. But there's no one to make the pin. Kojima's down, but no one's pinning him. This Crichton kind of fell over. to the head. And what is this here? Whoa! Exploder by Kid. Thrown back into the ring here. It's Show and Kenny in the ring, but they're not going to fight each other because, well, simply they're part of the same squad. Kojima bumps Kenny in the apron. Ooh, <sighs> like by Gabe. Gabe, oh, caught him thrown in the steel. Nice 
Billy Belly from Joe Kenny on Alex Cobb. Power bomb by Kozese Kojima. Joe thrown back in the ring by Gabe Kidd. Gabe Kidd. Why Gabe can go after Show? Show was right in the ring for those pickings. Oh, I might do something during that uh, other six-man tag match. And by what I mean is probably most likely take off the compost. Yeah. That shouldn't take very long for me to do, just take out that compost that I have to take out. And pile driver on Show. Gabe Kidd eats a big clothesline. Big form by Kazesi Kojima. Overhead shot, big drop into that leg. Kojima, where's he going? Oh, he's going for Kenny. He's going for Joe. Around the ring, it's Gabe Kidd. Take down by Kozesi Kojima. Oh, here we go, Kenny throw back in by Kozesi Kojima. Kojima get back in the ring, face Joe Kenny. Oh, never mind. Kojima. Show thrown into the ring post. And now Kidd throws him into that barricade. Same with Kojima, you're not know, throwing the barricade. Show almost thrown back in the ring by Gabe Kidd. German by Joe Kenny. Gabe's just throwing the show around the whole rail. Oh, and he boots him in the face. Big clothesline by. Joe Kenny. There's a power bomb to Gabe, and now he's getting triple power bomb. Kenny thrown right at the fake announce table by Alex Codlin. Now thrown back into the ring by Alex, and here we go, Alex Codlin and Joe Kenny. Joe, Joe's going for screw fly solution, he's blocked by Codlin. Alex Codlin, good counter on Joe Kenny, and a big slam by Alex Codlin. Now Joe slowly trying to get back to his feet, but Alex Cardlin caught though by Kenny. Kenny, screw fly, solution. Corey takes out both Kojima and Gabe Kidd, and Alex Cardlin somehow got his feet. He just somehow kicked out. Gabe though, pile driver on Joe Kenny. And no one's there to break things up. Cover on Kenny. Joe gets his right shoulder up. Oh, and a big shot by Show. Cover on Gabe. Alex broke things up. Pop up, nice counter by Show. Spine buster by Kojima. He dropped from Show. Show maybe trying to go for that shock arrow, or he's going to the top rope instead. Why is he going up to the top rope for? Show, elbow missed. Big miss there by Cal, by Show. And now here comes the jackhammer. Got him. And catches two clips. Double covers, double covers. Gable, oh, and he almost stole it because uh, Oh, Kojima, what the hell was that by Kozese Kojima? Show got dropped. Oh, he went for the deadly lariat and no, almost home. Tiger half suplex. Counter by, by Joe Kenny on Kojima. It's half suplex. Joe Kenny trying to put down Kozese Kojima. He's going for screw fly solution on Kojima. Got him. Fly solution and Kozesi Kojima. And Alex Cardlin saves it. Alex Cardlin pays his dividends. Joe Kenny captures Suplex again. Kojima up on the apron of the ring. Kojima back in the ring. Kojima stopped by Kenny. Kozesi Kojima. He's up on Kenny's shoulder. Super kick by Crichton. There's a miss. Kojima. Go for that brain buster. Got him. Brain buster 
by Kozesi Kojima. Oh. In the head of Joe Kenny by Kozesi Kojima. Kojima, oh, Sho thumped him in the eye. A thumb to the eye there by Sho. Back suplex, and here comes Shock Arrow. Shock Arrow by Sho. Someone break the fucking pin up, thank God. I don't want Sho to pick up a victory today. Cutter by Kenny. Codlin. Switch slam to Sho. From behind. Moment of silence by Sho Kenny on Alex Codlin. Codlin rolls out of the way. Close line. From the war dog, Alex Codlin. Well, the dead eye dreadnought, Alex Codlin. Dropped on from Sho. Kojima and Joe Kenny. Shows in the ring. And form straight to the head of Kozes Kojima. Look out for Joe Kenny out of nowhere. Big dive. And here's Alex. Alex and Show battling in the ring. Fans are saying this is awesome. Well, it should be awesome. It'll make you want to watch this stuff. Show trying to take out Alex Codlin here, wrenching right at his, and I mean right at his neck area. And now Show, where is he going here? Show, I think he's going for snake bite. No, he's not going for snake bite. Top rope Show here. What is he doing? Show misses out of just completely misses. Show completely lost his mind. Oh, that's performed on the back of his head by Gabe Kidd. Kidd to cover. Corey breaks, the, breaks it up. And Kojima from behind, driving the head of Crichton right into the ropes. Oh, armbar, armbar from Gabe Kidd. Joe Kenny is able to break it up. They heard Karana on show. Oh, Kojima was thinking deadly lariat on show, but he couldn't. No, oh, nice move by Kojima. Oh, uh, Joe's out of it. Gabe Kidd, double, underhook, slam. Why are you not going for the pin is my question. You have uh, Kenny distracted due to Alex Codlin. This would be a perfect opportunity to pin the rat bastard known as Show. Oh yeah, here we go. Pile driver. And Kojima with the War Dogs beat Show Crichton and Joe Kenny. So Kojima gave Kid and Alex Todlin beat Show Crichton and Kenny tonight. That means it's a War Dog party for Gabe and Alex tonight. And Kojima just gets to taunt about how he beat Joe Kenny and Corey Crichton with help. Because you know why? Because these my dogs for real, that's why. And the big six and the other big six man tag match. Josh Alexander teams up with the Gorillas of Destiny as they face off in wrestling's worst nightmare. And after this will be the main event of Adrian Coleman versus Evil. Now we have to head back to the backstage area as our new interviewer, Jason Baxter, is with Gabe Kidd. Oh yes, Jason Baxter here. I'm with Gabriel Kidd. Gabe, impressive victory. And uh, what? any words do you have for uh, show, Joe Kenny, any of those guys? Yeah, I got some words I want to say to Corey Crichton. Yeah, you might have beaten me. Last night in that cage, you know, he stayed, but that's just one battle, man. That's just one friggin' battle. Next time we meet Corey Crichton, I'm beating you, and I'm taking back my title. And I'm making sure of that. It can be any match that you want it to be, Corey, but I'm making sure that your English sugar cookie ass gets pinned to the right to the mat for a three. I'm making sure I'm walking out the MSW tri 
Uh, I'm going to try American. I'm going to try American title. Uh, the Simul Wasteland Championship. And that's because say it less. Because that's my dog for really. Woo! I guess we head out to the ringside area for you guys, I guess. Oh, thanks, Jason. Good first uh, interview. I remember when I did my first interview here. And I said, I'll be right back. I just compost out.
Nothing too serious has happened since uh, I left my compost out. Johnson. Johnson on Marcus by Hickaleo. Kick out. Oh. Double moves there. Amazing the cover. Cover on Alexander. And ball, Mr. Amazing! Damn, Mr. Amazing! Big win for Amazing, Taylor and Marcus tonight. Taylor and Amazing beat their number one tenders for the tag titles. Marcus, well, it's Marcus. But Amazing and Taylor pick up a very impressive victory with the help of Marcus. Big victory for Amazing. Taylor and Marcus. Amazing pins Josh Alexander, the world champion. They'll pick up a victory to give them some momentum going into their big title match on Saturday. Marcus, well, it, that's not really much momentum for him. That just means that he's got himself some momentum. Maybe for tomorrow. <laughs> but there we go. Wrestling's worst nightmare picks up a very impressive victory, and we've reached our main event of the evening. Oh, for God's sakes, that's not just Adrian Coleman. That's not just a that's not just the former Oliver Queen and David Finley. No, that's Adrian Coleman with them. Has Coleman is Coleman the third man? I think he is. Adrian Coleman is the third man of the group. And he's facing evil? Oh, evil doesn't even have the house torture with them right now. As I was told, I've been told that the house torture was taken out. So it's evil versus basically a three-on-one type of style here. Now evil's the one that's outnumbered. It's usually the 
opponent of the House of Torture that's outnumbered. Oh, big gut buster there by Evil on Coleman. How did this happen? That's my question. Why did Coleman join them? Oh, it's Adrian Coleman. That means he goes there in check. Right, look at this. Look at, look at Mr. Archer, a.k.a. Oliver Queen, taunting. Just stop taunting. Evil beating the hell out of Coleman. Coleman's wearing the... He's wearing these weird attire today. And look at this. Come on. Oh, and a kick to the back. Super kick by Adrian Coleman. People want to know if these guys were associated with the House of Torture. Well, I don't think they are now. And Coleman with a suicide dive. And, oh, uh, makes me sick. Makes me sick. Evil missed. Evil's got Coleman. He's down him up. Maybe careful with him. Hey, Adrian Coleman now fighting back. The elbow shot by Coleman. Evil says no. Throws him near the ring post. And a do. Oh, heard it slam from Evil. Tell me what in the world is it? Why is Archer and Finley, why is Archer and Rebel even here anyway? Probably help their dumb new friend. Matt Coleman doing his dumb taunts. Evil's better gonna have to hurry up to back in the damn ring. He's already at the count of 12. Just stop friggin' taunting. Man of a thousand egos, exploder suplex on evil. Uh. Right. Back to his feet. It's shot there by Coleman. And Coleman's on figure four. He lets go of the figure four. Coleman's a former junior heavyweight champion, a former multi-time world combat champion back when that was a thing here. Oh, crossroads. Oh, no. And Evil kicks out crossroads. Thank God. Now Evil needs the ribs by Coleman, or so to say, man, a thousand egos. There's a big knee in the back of Evil's head, and here comes the perfection knee. Oh, it's blocked by Evil. Evil blocks the perfection knee. Thank God. Oh, but Coleman with a little bit of a low shot on that one. Now Evil's in the corner. Oh. Down he goes. Oh, big sliding punch to the head. Come on. And now, shot right to the arm of Evil. And again, Adrian Coleman is doing his typical taunts, even though he's not really Coleman anymore. He's been taken over by whatever the hell has taken over all over Queen and David Finley. Push me by Adrian Coleman. I don't know if I want to call court, call, call Coleman anymore. Oh, it's super to the back of Evil's head. I mean, I like seeing Evil get attacked, but we don't need this. Oh, the fake announce table cover's coming off. Evil are dropping the side of his head. And now Evil thrown back into the ring. Oh, no. Oh, they're out Evil, whoa! Big dive from Evil! 
Oh, look at that. Mr. Archer was taunting evil to say, come on, hit me. And now another version of Crossroads. Oh. And that's it. Uh, the former Adrian Coleman beats evil. Adrian Coleman, eight, well, AKA the man of a thousand egos. He's gotten the win tonight. He did kind of thank uh, Mr. Archer and Rebel for that one. It makes me sick thinking of these guys that are together and the stuff that these guys would say. I mean, my goodness. Why do I have to worry about these guys now? I don't want to. He was wrong. And now Adrian Coleman is saying to the microphone, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Evil's not going anywhere. Get his ass up. We need to show this friggin' punk a lesson. And now, yeah, they have him up. Now they're three on one attacking Evil. Someone kind of needs to stop this. Coleman, Rebel, and Archer beating the hell three on one e to Evil here. Coleman's going to go for the knee, and he hits the perfection knee. Uh, Dave Finley hits an overkill and an archer to the top rope to hit a double stomp or a perfect shot as he likes to call that. And now he's saying for Finley to go grab that shillelagh. Oh no. He stopped, Finley stopped the shillelagh. Finley stopped that shillelagh and here he comes. Oh wait a minute here. I know whose music that is. It's Kane! Kane's here. Kane's here to, to stop them. Uh, I don't think Kane's with the House of Torture, but here comes the Big Red Machine. As Finley and Coleman teleport out of the ring. Leaving Mr. Archer all to himself as he's saying for Kane to come on down and bring it on to him. Yeah, like you want to ask that to the big red machine, huh? And here comes Kane down to the ring. And here we go. Kane going after Mr. Archer who uh, doesn't even know what the hell's going on here. Oh, big vertical suplex, there you go. Beat him up, Kane, beat his ass. Big DDT by Kane. So that's maskless Kane, too. And here comes Kane beating down on Mr. Archer Moore. Good, beat his ass. He deserves it for after what they did to Felix and the other people that they've tapped. Oh, big shot that leg. And now Kane's gonna grab a weapon. Kendall stick, oh, and there we go. Now breaks the kendo stick, going for the leg drop, and he missed it. And the archer's going to back in the ring. He's saying for Kane to bring it on, and he's taunting around his face. Why would you do that? Off the ropes, Kane and Archer bump into each other here, and Kane gets the better of him. And now Kane with a chop. Oh, the ropes in that leg. Thank goodness for Kane. And now, switch over. Power slam from the devil's favorite demon. The big red machine, the master of hellfire and brimstone. Running power slam from Kane. Kane beating the life out of the former Oliver Queen like he should. Kane is here to sell the score to beat the hell out of some people. Slams him. Shots from Kane. And Kane, where is he going? He's going top rope. You don't see Kane do this very much anymore. Does Kane even have the end? No, he does not. He stops. Now where's Kane going? Kane's got another kendo stick. Oh, now a kick by Oliver Queen. 
or say the former Oliver Queen. Now he's got Kane where he wants him. Knee in the corner from Queen. Slash Archer and a cannonball. Rolling elbow shot from the Archer himself. Oh, what is this? Archer got caught taunting again. And Kane, purple suplex from Kane. Kane rolls out of the floor as he sees him. Oh, he's now he's got the kendo stick. He's got the kendo stick. Oh, slams him with it. Get him, get him, beat his ass. Another broken kendo stick, big leg drop from, the, from Kane. Lean back to his feet, but Kane with a clothesline. Those three didn't expect Kane to come here. They weren't expecting anyone to help Evil, knowing Evil since they took out the House of Torture earlier. They kneel ahead. Kane's going to go for the steps here. And he's got him. Kane says, hold on here. And now Kane, he's had enough, and he throws him into the apron of the ring. Hit to the ribs by Kane. Powerbomb, falling powerbomb from Kane. And is Kane going to go for that choke slam, perhaps? If he does it, that'd be great. Oh, here we go. Running power slam from Kane. Oh, silly, stupid Archer. Went for try to go off the ropes and stuff and he completely failed. Kane's gonna grab some more steel. Choke slam, here we go, get him, hit him with it. Yes, choke slam from Kane, and now he's going for another choke slam. How about another choke slam? Two of them, Kane knocks him out. Kane beats the hell out of a former Oliver Queen. Two choke slams, knocks his ass out. And thank goodness for Kane, the devil's favorite demon, for that attack on Queen. Yeah, who cares about Queen now? Who wouldn't want to cheer for Kane to beat the hell out of him? Well, that's the end of that, that episode. We'll uh, see you tomorrow for the next one. We don't know the card just yet. We only know one match, but we'll see you next time.